Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is John from Semex Code, And this is just a short um, guide on how you can set up your Java development environment or your development environment when you are working with um, Java. So the first step is to make sure that Java is not installed yet in our system. So basically what you will do is to open up your command prompt or CMD and then you might want to type in Java C and if you already have this um, prompts or screen where you can see all the options to include with this keyword Java C for example the dash G um, deprecation class path and other options so that basically means that you already have your Java installed into your computer. But if um, you type in Java C and there's no options like this, then Java is not yet installed into your computer system. So if that's the case, then you can download Java. So all you have to do is go to this link, oracle.java slash ph slash java technologies, uh, technologies slash java se by the way i'm just gonna um, share this link on the description box below so you can follow this link and download the appropriate java that you want to use so actually you can use different versions of uh, java so basically for example you want to use java version 8 like this okay and there is also other versions that um, is available but um, if still you want to use the Java version 8, you can use this. Now, as I've said, I'm going to be sharing this link in the description box below or maybe in a pinned comment uh, if you want to follow this tutorial. Now, um, you can also search for this particular um, keyword. So, for example, you, you might want to search for Java JDK right here and then just click on the, the first or the second link for example the first link we're gonna click on that and as you can see there's like different versions here so there's seven and then there's eight and also there's later uh, later version which is 11 we have also 14 and 15 so um, starting from from version 8 you can actually use this version 8 11 14 uh, it doesn't matter for as long as uh, all the basics structure features and other um, keywords is available or av available to this particular uh, release of version now go ahead and you can download the the JDK by, by clicking on one of the links. So for example, you want to use the Java 8 or 11. So for example, this, just click on that and then you will be redirected to this page where you can um, select the proper version or the appropriate version for your computer system. So for example, you're using Windows 64 bit, then you can click on this right here. Um, it says 151.73 MB or if you're using Mac OS for uh, Mac OS users then you can click on this also and we also have the uh, download uh, downloadable available for Linux operating system and Solaris and other operating system so the most commonly used installer of course of course is this Windows so if you want to use this then click on this right here so it's going to take a while downloading depending on your internet connection and perhaps after you uh, after you click on this you will have to sign up for an account here in oracle.com but it's going uh, it's not going to take long so all you have to do is create an account and then the file will be available to you for you to download now after downloading this all you have to do is click on the 
the solar or the that exe file and then you just have to follow the instructions and maybe you want to change the installation directory but uh, if you don't want to customize it then you can just follow along with the um, installation wizard and you can click on uh, probably next uh, every time uh, you are prompted with the installation uh, wizard so by default it will be installed in uh, your program files for example program files um, here I have uh, the Java G uh, JRE but this this is not the right location for my computer system so I have to go program files and then here I also have the Java directory and as you can see here I have version 8 and I have also version 13 uh, installed in my computer system so after that um, you might need to uh, set the environment path for your machine so all you have to do is click on this directory for example you want to use this version and then open up the bin folder and all you have to do is copy click on this and then copy the location of your bin folder and go to your PC right click here for properties this is where we're going to set the um, environment variable for our um, Java development environment so advanced and then environment variables so here you have the option to click on the path right here so all you have to do is uh, click on this edit and then make sure that you have added the um, Java path for your machine or maybe this you can also do it here for your uh, user variables okay so as I as you can see here I have the location for my Java which is Java version 1.8 or Java 8 and then you can click on so for example if you don't have uh, the path here all you have to do is click on new and then all you have to do is paste here the bin uh, location of your Java installation so after that you might want to check for the availability for your Java installation so all you have to do is verify it by using this particular command Java C and then if uh, you can see all these options then it means that the installation of Java is successful okay and then right after that you can start writing your own programs you can write um, Java, uh, Java source code and then you can compile it and then you can run it uh, using different um, IDE or you can also use notepad or any other uh, IDE that you want to use so I think that's all there is to it for this video and I hope you guys learned something from this and if you have questions please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks.